Yeah, so we're going to compare the older one and the younger one again. Um, as can be expected, this Oldsmobile 98 didn't sell. This is like a 1975. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a 75 Olds 98 Regency. They only had this kind of look here with the square headlights, 75 and 76. So you have to read the grill to find out you know, what, what year it is because they weren't going to invest any more money into this car when they had a new platform coming, new body style in 1977. So that's what they would do, just do things to make it look different than the preceding year. So this is a 98 Regency and this car clearly didn't sell. Well, I mean, I could say it would have sold, it just wouldn't have met the reserve. And, I don't know, it's got like all of these spots in the paint. You'd have to hit this with some rubbing compound to see if you can get that out. Because it looked like fingerprints at first, but no. It's like some oxidation spots or something. Um, it's got a 1981 inspection sticker for Georgia. Uh... It's not a bad car. Similar to the Cadillac. Six window. Right here. This is what I was trying to point out. In the video with the, uh, the Buick Park Avenue. The 1975 Buick Park Avenue. Limited. The red one with the white top. That this roof. Was shared. And this door. This roof and this door was shared between Oldsmobile Buick and Cadillac. You can get a Fleetwood. If it was a six window, it would have this door and this window right here. If you got a 98, it's Regency, it would have this door and this window. And an Electra Deuce and a Quarter. Or the Park Avenue Limited would have this door and this window. And it would have this roof. Now, the thing is, you can get a Pontiac Granville. And it would have this window, but it wouldn't have this door. It would have the door from the regular four-door Catalina, Impala, Caprice, Bonneville. And then they stopped making the Granville as a full-size car, like in 75. So then it became like a Bonneville Brome or something like that. But you can still get the roof in the window, but not this door. But anyway, this interior, look at that. It's like pillbox style. In the back too. Pillbox style. Now, I don't know what the reserve is on this car because I didn't see it when it crossed. But... I also didn't see what, the, what happened to the Cadillacs when they crossed, too, because there were like four Cadillacs earlier, and there was a Coupe de Ville, a Sedan de Ville, a Fleetwood, and an Eldorado. The Sedan de Ville would have had the same body as this in 1976. And like I said, it would have this door. That's the one, if you go to the video, you can hear it chooching out the back. Uh, from the front, the car sounds smooth. When you get to the back, it sounds like there's a baffle in the muffler. The baffle in the muffler is just flapping around and causing an unnecessary restriction. Um, the reason why I like Oldsmobile over the other ones is always, well, not always, but it's because of these taillights. These church steeple style taillights, you know. You remember when people used to go to church, the windows in the church were stained glass and they'd be shaped like this? The, the steeple style in the windows in the church you know they were able to work this feature the whole 70s in these full size cars not in 88 but in 98 starting in like 1970 they would have rocked this whole steeple feature these uh, fiberglass pieces have been repainted and they, uh, replaced that's good that's good um, let's 
pretty rough in the back here. Got wax and you got some corrosion in the back. So this one over here is broken. But I wouldn't care that much if I had this thing. Just pretty much just drive it. That's why you know I don't know what the reserve would be. But I just drive this thing. This thing most likely would have had a 455 and I don't know, look like this Bondo on that skirt there with some matching paint. Because I've seen a few other GM cars that were painted this color. You know, on the, on the Ford, it's like walnut, considered walnut brown. I don't know what considered in, uh, on the General Motors paint scheme. But it's been touched up in places. The roof feels all right. There's some molding that's coming apart. I have to glue that back in there. Because if you don't, it's going to start to leak when it rains heavy. It's got some scrapes on the bottom here. You know, it doesn't have a mirror. It doesn't have a mirror on this side. I'd put a mirror on this side. I don't care. I'd drill into the sheet metal and put me a mirror. Now, that's the 455, which. I don't know what the reserve is, but in my head, I don't know. So this is 75, and then over here we got what was in the next lineup. It's just got a, oh, this has got a Daihatsu Terios. Right hand drive, huh? <laughs> Wrong side. Yeah. This is it. This is what General Motors had cooked up after 1977. This here, this one didn't sell either. It's a Buick LeSabre. Pretty much under the same line as a full size, the full size Oldsmobile, the full size Buick. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a 1978. That's what I'm gonna say it is. Uh, it's got these three ports on here, but like I said, I don't know what that means anymore. I thought if it meant four, you had a V8. If it was three, you had a V6. Who knows? But it's got a two-tone paint scheme. Yeah, it is a 1978. Buick LeSabre Custom 4-Door. Alright, it's got a 350 Buick engine. Alright, so. Doors open. Green. You know, I was listening to a truck driver say that they use uh, some scented fresheners, some scented air things, aromatics, to keep their truck smelling a certain way. And she said she likes her truck to smell like leather, so she gets a leather aromatic. With this, I would get like peppermint, so it always smells minty when you step in this car. AM radio. Let's see. Oh, is that an AM radio? Baby was like, you should love you. Now, just like the 98, these are not very popular. So, whatever the reserve was, you know, he might have been asking $10,000 for this car. And it was nowhere near it. But it is a nice car. Very nice family sedan. Once again, this one, just like the 98, you got to get the rubbing compound to get some luster back in this paint. It doesn't feel gritty, but it looks dull. So you get the rubbing compound, and uh, you can see your basic Chevrolet body here on the LeSabre. Now, it said if this was a Park Avenue, a 98, or a Lecture, this, this roof line here would be a little more formal. This window would come up more rectangular like. But, uh, so, it's 
It's very nice. You know, I have to I have to go to the website and look and see what were the. I mean, I want to find out what did they. What what was the highest bid that they came across? Oh, I can, oh yeah, one more thing. I can just go to the Carlisle website, Carlisle Auctions, and I can see the number here is one eighteen. And this whole row is full of one hundreds, so I can I can see what the uh, the ones that didn't sell, the ninety eight, the Crown Vic, the Cougar, see what they went for, but. Um, and this thing here, this the saber, because I really do like this. This is a real throwback.